New nurse over at Corwell Beaumont Royal Oak has a very special connection to the nurses she's working alongside, and it is because they helped her through a difficult time in her own life. Paula Tutman joins us now live with Molly Pratt's story. Paula? Hey, Karen. Hi. So you have kids, so of course you know this as well as anybody. Children are watching, they're listening, they are building who they're going to be by the experiences they have as children. And, and this story so illustrates that, as well as why Nurse Molly is uniquely qualified to serve her patients. Hi, I'm Molly. I'm working with you today with Lori, okay? When Nurse Molly Pratt speaks to patients, okay? her empathy comes from someplace additional to that wonderful caring place nurses already seem to be chocked full of. I'm just going to check your IV, okay? Her first day as a nurse at Corwell Health, William Beaumont University Hospital, and two weeks from being a full RN, when she relates to patients, she really relates. In October of 2014, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. And I received treatment here at Beaumont Children's for several years. When you see it, you understand it. And as a child patient going through treatment, she saw what she wanted to do when she grew up. RN Lori Johnson was actually no one of Molly's no nurses. I took care of Molly when she was going through her chemotherapy and her treatment. Um, she was such a nice young girl. I felt bad for her being 16 years old and going through this. Today, Nurse Lori is walking Nurse Molly through her own first day. How's your pain? Has it gotten any better? Yeah. I'm just gonna evaluate your face, okay? I'm just gonna feel behind your ears. Molly gets the nerves and the jitters of her patients. She says she had white coat syndrome as a child because she was in and out of hospitals. I was one of those patients that my blood pressure would go so high because I was just so scared to be, even if they weren't doing anything to me, I was always just so scared. But nurses helped her through it. The nursing team here just cared for me so well that they changed my path for the better because now I found my true calling in life and I'm very happy. And so today, full circle moments. Here I am today actually caring for my patients in the same place that I used to be a couple years ago in the patient's bed. In the patient's bed? That this is so incredible. She's only 24 years old. By the way, her first assignment is going to be the pediatrics unit. Karen, she knows a little something about that. You know, we, we really try to bring you some good news stories, but what do you think about this literal feel-good story? This is really kind of cool. I really am stunned. I mean, a lot of times, obviously, we feature something, and we're like, oh, well, that's, you know, that's a commonality. But the fact that, you know, she obviously experienced this and now is bringing it full circle and willing to share it with us, I just love it. Good news out there, Paul. I love it, too. Really I do. know, right? We need that on a Monday. You know, we really do. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, Paula.